All right, once I get the overall width overall height in, put the formula in so that it's centered and locked in off the origin. Go ahead and put your fillets in on each corner. Point two is the radius. Once complete, finish your sketch. And then you can see I already have it extruded here. You would uh, need to extrude. Let me go ahead and edit this feature. I'll show you what it, what it is. The depth here, it's 0.57. Just go ahead and extrude that back 0.57. Hit OK. And that's the rear socket uh, area. All right, so pretty much done. We got one last thing to do, and I want, want to show you, is we want to put the axle holes in. All right, axle holes. So what we're going to do is do a 2D sketch on the right side, and I'll draw a circle. And as usual, I just draw a circle anywhere. doesn't matter where it's at because once it's already drawn, I will dimension it. So let me go ahead and dimension it now. Dimension the diameter. The diameter dimension for, for the axle is 0.29. And then we want to locate from the center point to the right edge. Let's locate that at 0.5. Go from the center to the bottom edge, locate that at 0.3. So pretty easy, just three dimensions here, diameter dimension, two linear dimensions, referencing from the back and the bottom. I'm going to finish sketch there. Let's go ahead and extrude it. We're going to do an extrude cut. The depth, if you look on the drawing, there's a special symbol that represents the depth. We're going to type in 0.35 because that is the depth. And it'll extrude cut that down in. So once we have this first axle hole in place, I want to show you something new. I want to go ahead and we're going to use the mirror tool. And we're going to mirror this axle hole to the other side. Now keep in mind this is a different mirror uh, function in that it's it's a feature mirror rather than a sketch mirror. So check this out. In order to get started we need to open up or turn on the visibility of the middle plane here which is in my case it's the YZ plane is running right down the middle of this part. So I need to right click on that and make it visible for this operation. So if you look up on your tools, if you go under pattern, you're going to see another symbol that says mirror. But th like I said, this mirror, we're not mirroring sketch geometry. We are mirroring the whole feature. So watch how this works. We click on mirror. And notice it pops up. It says features. We have to select what features we want to mirror. Then it says mirror plane. We just turned on that middle plane because that's going to be our mirror plane. So the features, what we can do with that is we can simply go down to the model browser over here off to the left, and we can click on extrusion, extrusion 6 in our case. Just click on that, and that's going to select that actual whole feature that we just did for the axle hole. Then click on mirror plane, select mirror plane. Once you have those two items selected, I'm going to spin this over to the other side. I'm going to click OK. And notice what just happened. The whole feature gets mirrored over to the other side. So uh, when I say the whole feature, that means the original sketch and the extrusion all got mirrored over. We didn't have to redo that extrusion because the whole, uh, whole stuff got copied over and mirrored over to the other side. All right, another thing we need to take care of is we need to put the grooves in. So I'm going to start a 2D sketch, click on the back, go ahead and draw a rectangle. I'll start on the left side. Just draw a rectangle anywhere and go ahead and start putting dimensions on it. So I'll dimension the width, 
dimension to width. And if you look at the detail on the drawing, it's 0 0.06. The height is going to be also 0 0.06. And then I don't usually like to do this, but I'll do it here. Dimension this left side to the edge, and we're going to put a zero dimension in. Let's dimension the top of the shape. Try to grab the, just the line, not the midpoint. Drag that out and go 0.3 is that height dimension. Notice how it's fully constrained. It's all black. What I'm going to do now is we're going to mirror this to the other side. But before I go to the mirror tool, I need to project the y-axis onto this sketch so that I can use it for the mirror tool. So I'm going to go to mirror. Let's select this geometry here, this little square. Mirror line is going to be that y-axis I just projected. Hit apply. There's our box on the other side, mirrored. Hit done. When I'm completed with that, just go ahead and finish your sketch. Go ahead and hit extrude. Select the two little squares. Notice how they're coming out at me. I'm going to change direction, but also select cut. And the distance is going to be through all. Make sure you select through all, because it'll just go all the way through. I had some questions you know, regarding this fillet, you look at this, the fillet and how to where to end that. Well, if you just do through all, it calculates that and it takes it through any material and then you can see how that fillet kind of tapers it out. So that's exactly what we want. So to finalize this, we're going to change the material, drop down, and we're going to use wood maple. And then we want to change the color. The color is going to be maple solid natural medium gloss. And that looks like what we have in our drawing and the, the actual part. It's a close resemblance. So that is your front, guys. Take a look at it. All complete. And that's it.